2018 Geneva Motor Show with Cupra. Now, what an exciting time for the brand. They've just launched, and it's kind of like the older, cooler brother to Seat. I've been really excited to bring you the exclusive on this because, you know, Seat for me is not a brand that I've had a lot to do with, but Cupra is definitely making waves. It's more fashion, it's more lifestyle. The, the cars themselves are absolutely brilliant. So we're gonna head upstairs, I have a chat with Luca De Mayer, who is the president of the Cupra and Say It brand. And then I'm gonna take you around and show you exactly what they've been up to. Cause I tell you what, I'm really impressed. I mean, the idea of Cupra is to create some kind of elite unit, uh, build around the motorsport division of Seat, which has a you know, long tradition. Uh, to do stuff uh, that is actually cooler than we normally do, is the idea. And uh, I think, uh, uh, let's say, in the market you, you have people that, you know that better than me, that want to have some kind of special things, right? So they want the unique products. So we are going to do uh, versions of um, uh, Seat cars into limited editions and that they are, they are from a performance point of view, from a styling point of view, uh, from a possibility of individualization point of view, completely different from the thing we normally do. It's, it's a little bit like, I don't know, you get out of the plant and you get back to the garage. That's the idea. I first saw this Seat Leon Cooper R at the Frankfurt Motor Show in 2017 and it really caught my eye simply because for a hot hatch the aesthetics are really cool and it's incorporated this beautiful charcoal colour with the bronze everywhere down to the carbon weave that they've put on various different areas of the car and what they're going to be doing is carrying on that theme throughout the rest of the cars and this was before I was even aware that Cupra were going to separate off from Seat. So it shows that what they were doing was completely different for back then. And now they're going to be moving that forwards and creating a whole new line of cars. So taking a look at the outside of the car, you know that I love a hot hatch and normally that envisages a little bit of gloss black, a little bit of carbon things, a bit of a red stripe, but this has completely changed it. It's gone for a completely different color scheme and more aggressive look that I've seen before. I mean, black with the grey with the bronze like it's a much more like fashion orientated uh, car coming down the side of it here we have these lovely cast wheels which again carrying on that bronze theme against the matte sort of grey metallic paintwork honestly like it's not too much going on here sometimes you can have a bit of an overload with carbon wings carbon bits and they're not even normally real carbon but this is all real carbon and I think the main thing that we have to remember here is, although this is the 310 brake model, what they're really looking at is how this thing looks. Um, you know, it's been really well thought out, everything down from, you know, the branding, to how the badge sits, to the paintwork, to absolutely everything incorporated inside the car as well. Aesthetically, it's a beautiful car. And just, I haven't seen something where I've been like, yeah, that's actually really cool, but not because it's from a motorsport performance perspective. I think one of my friends, you know, my friends that work in fashion, they would even look at it and go, yeah, that is actually really cool. And this is a completely new direction for a brand. I haven't seen some, someone do this before. behind me is Cupra's actual first model. Now as the brand's finding its feet, uh, they will eventually drop off the Seat onto the model. So you'll have a Seat Leon Cupra R, which will then eventually become the Cupra R itself. Now as you can see, it's got the brand new logo on there. I'd be intrigued to know what you guys think. So put your comments, obviously, underneath the video because I'm actually really intrigued to see what the general uh, response is, to be fair. I quite like it. It's a little bit tribal but you know, that's the kind of thing that they're going for. They're really looking at that USP where it's uniqueness, sophistication and performance. And looking at the way the brand is going to be developing over the next few years, you can really see this coming through as a theme. But with the Ateca, this is gonna be obviously their first model that they're putting out to you guys. Cooper decided to launch with an SUV in the guise of the Ateca simply because this is actually the fastest growing segment of the market. Now it's really incorporating that USP once again. It's beautiful to look at. And it's still a 300 brake, two liter, seven speed DSG box in there. I haven't had the chance to drive them yet, 
but I'm really hoping that it adds up with the performance to the way these things look. But speaking of performance, I've got to show you this over here. Now this is really exciting. I have never ever seen anything like this before. Cooper themselves have created the very first electronic touring car. Now, no other brand is doing this. Basically, when you take away all the rules, you can kind of do whatever the hell you like, and this is what's been created. And it looks amazing. And what they're trying to do, essentially, is create their own race series. So we may end up having electric touring cars. And it's one of my favorite race series in, in the world. So if this is what they're creating with their race cars, and they're going to be using these sort of styling cues throughout all of the new models that are coming, I can't wait to see what they're going to come up with. Now one thing that Cooper have done, which I've never seen a brand do before, is they're branching out not only with the cars, they are actually creating their own line of accessories and lifestyle elements as well. So we have the sunglasses range here, which is using like a, a really niche Italian brand, which, you know, are completely focused on that uniqueness. Again, we had a little chat with them when I was out in Barcelona for the launch. And we also have, you know, a fully carbon bike here as well. It's just amazing what they're trying to do. They're trying to incorporate not only just a car into the brand, but an entire like lifestyle, essentially. You can dress the brand, wear the brand, ride the brand, drive the brand. And you know what? No other company has come up with a 360 approach like this for a launch in, well, I mean, I don't know anybody, anyone else doing it. Do you? stop tour and you know an introduction to Cupra as a brand for you guys now, I'm really excited to be working with them uh, further on in the year I'm gonna be getting behind the wheel of one of these cars and really showing you how they are trying to change the game make sure you keep your eyes peeled for a girl's guide too with these guys super soon and I'll catch you again next time